Good morning, everyone. This is Brother Brennan coming to you live from Fayetteville, Arkansas, with another daily Bible reading. If you have your Bibles, turn with me to the book of Job, and we will pick up from where we left off. The book of Job, chapter 1. There was a man in the land of Uts, whose name was Job, and that man was perfect and upright, and one that feared God and escheweth evil. And there were born unto him seven sons and three daughters. His substance also was seven thousand sheep and three thousand camels and five hundred yoke of oxen and five hundred she-asses and a very great household so that this man was the greatest of all the men of the east and his sons went and feasted in their houses every one his day and sent and called for their three sisters to eat and to drink with them and it was so when the days of their fasting or their the days of their feasting were gone about that job sent and sanctified them and rose up early in the morning and offered burnt offerings according to the number of them all. <coughs> For Job said, It may be that my sons have sinned and cursed God in their hearts. Thus did Job, con thus did Job continually. Now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord. And Satan came also among them. And the Lord said unto Satan, Whence comest thou? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth, and from walking up and down in it. And the Lord said unto Satan, Hast thou considered, considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and upright man, one that feareth God and escheweth evil? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, Doth Job fear God for naught? Hast not thou made a hedge about him and about his house and about all that he hath on every side? Thou hast blessed the work of his hands, and the substance is increased in the land. But put forth thine hand now and touch all that he hath. And he will curse thee to thy face. And the Lord said unto Satan, Behold, all that he hath is in thy power. Only upon himself put not forth thine hand. So Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord. And there was a day when his sons and daughters were eating and drinking wine in their eldest brother's house. And there came a messenger unto Job. And said, The oxen were plowing, and the asses feeding beside them. And the Sabaeans fell upon them, and took them away. Yea, they have slain the servants with the edge of the sword, and I only am escaped alone to tell thee. While he was yet speaking, there came also another, and said, <clears throat> The fire of God has fallen from heaven, and hath burned up the sheep. And the servants and consumed them and I only am escaped alone to tell thee while he was yet speaking there came also another and said the Chaldees the Chaldeans made out three bands and fell upon the camels and have carried them away yea and slain the servants with the edge of the sword and I only am escaped alone to tell thee while he was yet speaking, there came also another, and said, Thy sons and thy daughters were eating and drinking wine in their eldest brother's house. And behold, there came a great wind from the wilderness, and smote the four corners of the house, and it fell upon, and it fell upon the young men, and they are dead, and I only am escaped alone to tell thee. Then Job ro arose, and rent his mantle, and shaved his head, and fell down upon the ground and worshipped and said naked came I out of my mother's womb and naked shall I return thither the Lord gave and the Lord hath taken away blessed be the name of the Lord and 
all this Job sinned not, nor charged God foolishly. Job chapter 2 Again, there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan came also among them to present himself before the Lord. And the Lord said unto Satan, From whence comest thou? And Satan answered the Lord, and said, From going to and fro on the earth, and from walking up and down in it. And the Lord said unto Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and upright man, one that feareth God and escheweth evil? And still he holdeth fast his, his integrity, although thou movest me against him to destroy him without cause. <clears throat> and Satan answered the Lord and said, Skin for skin, yea, all that a man hath will he give for his life. But put forth thine hand now, and touch his bone and his flesh, and he will curse thee to thy face. And the Lord said unto Satan, Behold, he is not in thine hand, but save his life. So went, so went Satan forth from the presence of the Lord, and smote Job with sore boils from the sole of his foot unto his crown. And he took him a pot shard to scrape himself withal, and he sat down among the ashes. Then said his wife unto him, Dost thou still retain thine integrity? Curse God and die. But he said unto her, Thou speakest as one of the foolish women speaketh. What shall we receive good at the hand of God, and shall we not receive evil? And all this did not Job sin with his lips. Now when Job's three friends heard of all this evil that was come upon him, they came every one from his own place, Eliphaz the Timnite, and Bildad the Shuhite, and Zophar the Nahamathite, for they had made an appointment together to come to mourn with him and to comfort him. And when they lifted up their eyes afar off, and knew him not, they lifted up their voice and wept, and they rent every one his mantle and sprinkled dust upon their heads toward heaven. <clears throat> so they sat down with him upon the ground seven days and seven nights, and none spake a word unto him, for they saw that his grief was very great. Job chapter 3 after this opened Job his mouth, and cursed his day. And Job spake and said, Let the day perish wherein I was born, and the night in which it was in which it was said, There is a man child conceived. Let that day be darkness, let not God regard it from guard it from above, neither let the light shine upon it, let darkness and the shadow of death stain it. Let a cloud dwell upon it. Let the blackness of the day terrify it. As for that night, let darkness seize upon it. Let it not be joined unto the days of the year. Let it not come into the number of the months. Lo, let that night be solitary. Let no joyful noise come therein. Let them curse it that curse the day. Who are ready to raise up their morning. Let the stars of the twilight thereof be dark. Let it look let it look for light, but have none, neither let it see the dawning of the day, because it shut not up the doors of my mother's womb, nor hid sorrow from mine eyes. Why died I not from the womb? Why did I not give up the ghost when I came out of the belly? Why did the knees prevent me, or why did the breasts that I should suck? For now should I have lain, still have, still, 
and been quiet. I should have slept then had I been at rest. With kings and counselors of the earth, which built desolate places for themselves, or with princes that had gold who filled their houses with, with silver, or as a hidden untimely birth. I had not been as infants which never saw light. There the wicked cease from troubling, and there the weary be at rest. There the prisoners rest together. They hear not the voice of the oppressor. The small and great are there, and the servant is free from his master. Wherefore is light given to him that is in misery, and life unto the bitter soul, which long for death, but it cometh not, and dig for it more than for hid treasures, which rejoice exceedingly, and are glad when they can find the grave, when they can find the grave. Why is light given to a man whose way is hid, and whom God hath hedged in? Hedged in. For my, for my sighing cometh before I eat, and my roarings are poured out like the waters. For the thing which I greatly feared has come upon me, and that which I was afraid of is come unto me. I was not in safety, neither had I rest, neither was I quiet. Yet through tr yet trouble came. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today. And um, next time we will pick up on Job chapter 4. And hope this is a blessing to you. And uh, please pray for me uh, with the reading and the preaching of the word. If you guys like what I'm doing with the reading and the preaching of the word, you can feel free to go to YouTube and type in Fishers of Men Ministries, Brandon Swanson. Uh, you might need to scroll down a little bit. But if you'd like, you could hit the subscribe button. And if you want the updates to all of our new videos, you just click the notification bell and click all. And by that, that will give you all the new updates to all the new videos that I will be doing. And if you guys want to check me out on Facebook, you just go to Facebook and sign up for one. If you don't have one or if you do have one, just type in Brandon Swanson. I should pop up somewhere. I don't know exactly where. But you can feel free to add me as a friend. And you can tune into the live videos, or you can check out our sermon audio page, uh, which is Fisher, Fishers of Men Ministries. And you go to sermonaudio.com and just type in Fishers of Men Ministries in the search bar. I should be there with my picture. And in there I have all the videos that I've ever preached, as well as all these Bible readings that I've done. So you can go and feel free to check out the, you can check out, check those out there as well. Um... But other than that, I think that's going to be it for t that's going to be it for now. Um, pray that God will be glorified in this. Pray that God will take these videos and do with them as He wills. Pray that that there might be souls that might be saved. Pray that that there might be backslidden Christians that might come back and to the Lord. I pray that God will take this and, and and use it for His purpose and for His glory and His honor. Amen. So with that said, that's going to be it for now. This is Brother Brandon. I'm signing off for the day. God bless you guys. I love you, and we'll see you on the next one. God bless you guys. See ya. Bye.